A hundred Navy and Royal Marine Air crew are setting off from Yeovilton bound for Afghanistan. The men from 847 Naval Air Squadron will operate the Lynx fleet of helicopters from Camp Bastion. Julie Knox joined them today as they made their final preparations. Receiving the baton from the Army Air Corps, 847 Squadron takes charge of the fleet of Lynx within days. Our role primarily is to provide situation awareness and support to the troops on the ground who've got the real day-to-day -day task of uh, supporting coalition operations in Afghanistan. Allowing them to know what's going on around them, letting them know if there's anything that could affect their patrols or their operations on the ground uh, and hopefully preventing anything happening to them. Uh, and if necessary, we're an armed helicopter, we can intervene if we need to. The aircrew have converted from the Mark 7 aircraft they usually fly to the Mark 9 Alpha, which is used in theatre. It's equipped with the most capable camera, the MX-10, which the aviation crewman controls as well as manning the machine gun. Well, all the Marines uh, who are aviation crewmen have done a, a tour before, so they all kind of appreciate, you know, how much we're helping the lads. Last time I went out with 4-2 uh, Commando uh, on the ground. This time I'm going up in the air, so I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing it from a different perspective and helping the lads if required. If they need it, you know, in the area, you're a big asset and a big help to the troops on the on the ground. They've had a shooting package in Scotland to get them up to speed, plus desert and dust training in California. Yeah, dust gets everywhere. It's a it's a nightmare when it comes to servicing them. We're we're constantly cleaning all, all day, every day, when we're doing our servicing. It's just constant cleaning the cabs. For about half the squadron, this is their first operational deployment to Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the deployment. It's going to be exciting for me. I don't really know what to expect because it's my first time out there. I've spoken personally to Lynx crew there in situ who've spoken about what it's like to fly over the scene of something bad that's happened, a vehicle overturned or whatever by a bomb and looking down on that picture. How can you prepare yourself for perhaps going out to the scenes of things like that? I mean it's a difficult one to answer you know I mean we all joined the military and all accepted that we'd see things possibly that we wouldn't otherwise see and do things we might otherwise do, both good and bad. Uh, I think, you know, it's down to the individual and we're, we're a close-knit squadron and we're there for each other. This will be 847's final spin in the older Lynx helicopters. When they get back, they'll transfer to the new Wildcat. I think it'd be a very different challenge because we're going through a course um, where we learn to fly and operate the aircraft, where we learn to maintain the aircraft, and then we'll be hopefully taking it back to sea in our more traditional role, um, working on amphibious operations um, in support of the Commando Brigade. So you'll be looking forward to that new change? Very much so. The fleet of helicopters the Naval Air Squadron's going to use is already in situ in Camp Bastion, apart from this aircraft, which is going out to replace one that's come to its flying hours total. So it's about to be packed up and shipped off out of Rise Norton tonight to arrive in theatre in readiness for these crewmen to get into her and fly. Julie Knox, Forces News, Yeovilton.